targeted bands for yeah. sure. Yeah. Which I th does that mean that Meme Squad's jungler has been carrying them very hard I, or very well? I'm not sure. And they immediately take the echo again. We saw this is how first I think, pick echo. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. I think we still. <laughs> Uh, we've got a Cho'Goth and a Bard. Fascinating picks. We haven't seen either of those champions played on stream today. That's true. Bard is very is a very interesting support, and just the, the overall team movement and his uh, uh, alt are very unique in what they do. And it's, um, it'll be interesting to see how this um, their support works uses him to his full advantage or how he. Yeah, plays him. High mobility. Uh, yes. And uh, invulnerability too, like Tarek. Yeah. Right? Um, I don't, yeah. It's a different type of invulnerability, well, right. but, but like, yeah. That. And you, like, that can be used not just defensively, but extremely offensively. If you can hit the whole team, with the enemy team with it, your team can just walk up to them and, and totally nuke them. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how he uses that alt throughout the game. Also this Cho'Goth, it, it looks like he's going to be Cho mid lane Cho'Goth, actually. Mid lane Cho'Goth. Okay. So how and that's a support Karma, I believe, because she has exhaust, and that's gonna be Jungle Gragas, and we don't know who the jungler for. Um, for Meme Squad is. Will be yes, correct in this game, but. But there's a Darius pick for top, get that lay that damage down. And we have a severe ADC. All right. Wasn't um, Echo when they played the first game? Yes, he was, and he. Tarek was very he was, good with he him. He was their jungler. Yes. Okay. So is that does that mean Gragas is gonna go top instead of Gragas jungle? Maybe. Um, I feel like he was very. If he's better with Gragas, then he probably will play Gragas. But he was very strong on Echo. He made a lot of good plays, a lot of good dodges that game. Mm-hmm. Getting out with a lot, uh, very little life as Echo. Yeah. Was built to do. But he he used that alt to oh, what, um. What? Okay, wait a minute. Um, I, I know Ride's talked about Tarek um, jungle because it would be fun uh, like as a joke, but I don't think there was... Okay. <laughs> I don't think those jewels are quite that outrageous. No, not, not, not here at least. Lola Bear. Okay. All right. So we have... This is going to be... Um, it's going to be interesting to see how this Cho'Goth and the LeBlanc trade because Cho'Goth is... Gonna get, I feel like, poked really hard. Oh, yeah, he's a big target. Very big hitbox on yeah. that guy. It'll be up to LeBlanc, though, to dodge his um, knock up. His knock up and his sh uh, shout. The, the silence is what, if, if he ends up landing it on LeBlanc, it could be d disastrous for her. Yeah. It, and Cho'Goth can, I think, he, it's harder for him to outplay her, but he totally can. Like, she definitely has a higher skill cap, so the higher ability to move around him, but he has the ability, if he can do it correctly, to silence her and keep her from running away and doing a lot of things. That's definitely step one, because her just trying to run away without her abilities being silenced, you silence into a knock-up, into, e into a devour, and that's, that's a ton of damage. And it is going to be a Gragas top and Echo jungle, so he's going to get the jungler he had from first game that he played very well on. Yeah, and Gragas versus, or Gragas against... Darius top. That's going to be an interesting uh, me both melee, but the the mage uh, spells that Grog is going to be throwing out are going to keep uh, Darius. Darius busy. And Darius, but Darius is also going to well, Darius is going to use his passive where he's just going to constantly make Gragas bleed. So it's going to be that's going to be a lot of trading, and like Darius can totally go off if he gets fed and plays well. Oh, certainly he's very he's, snowbally. He could just his alt is um his alt I believe has like. When he uses it once, if he like the intervals get smaller, but he can use it almost twice within a certain amount of time, very short time, and then it goes on a full cooldown. So if, if he, he gets a kill, if he yes, a kill. that's correct. So that makes him very dangerous if he gets a kill. Yes, he'll be. He's the executioner. So how? So Volibear, I feel like is their best. Uh, Bard and Volibear, too, and actually Darius is very good at engaging here too. Because he can just pull someone in, mm -hmm. and Bear can just run at them, and Bard can alt onto them. So that, so they can, they, I feel like they would, they can, they like actually grabbing on and getting. To so someone. they're going to engage pretty hard. They, if they can, if they can manage to engage on a uh, LeBlanc or um, on their on their Lucian, then yeah. it could be very, very troublesome. Um, our other games are, um, if you're interested in watching those, are streaming on MKE LOL Two. Um, Twitch.tv, MKLL2, yes. uh, where we have pro gaming versus team team name. 
and uh, Death Cab for Cutie versus the Swamp Donkeys. Swamp Donkeys. Great both, b- both very good games, too. Going be- through uh, Picks and Bands currently. Um, and for everyone's, uh, so, so everyone knows, we are we are in a round of three now. So this will be this will uh, find out who's going to move on to the championship of this of the um, of this group of this, oh, this group. Okay. So the the winner of the this series will go on to play, I believe, music. I believe we'll play um, Silk, but okay. I'm not. Uh, don't quote me on that. But I know we're going to be seeing them play. They'll, they'll be moving on to a championship game, so we can see either a rematch or we can see a new team move on. It'll be a, it'll be a great d- game either way. In a great series. Um, the only thing I'm kind of questioning here, though, is the um, karma. Um, she's she's a very like pokey car- um, champion. Definitely very good at like recently very good at being a top poker. She just does a lot of damage. Kind of falls off later game, but definitely useful. So it's good. So she's an earlier game champion. So it's going to be interesting if they can kind of utilize her best early game and get a lead. But if they get into later game with her, she might not be as useful. Well, with Sivir's um, spell bubble, that could uh, spell disaster for a Karma that's trying to lay down damage, but instead, re- you know, replenishing the mana for Sivir. Yeah. And we have gotten into game now. All, All right, our game. delay is over. We are loading onto the rift. Absolutely. <sighs> Um, Loading up. Another thing that uh, I'll be interested to see is how um, these champions, how these, uh, how they like build against each other. If they're just gonna, you know, how some champions just build and they don't really care about what the other tier, like champions are doing, or if they're gonna build to count to like kind of counter what the other person is doing while helping themselves. Like, how well can these teams itemize against their lanes? It's gonna be something to watch, along with, as usual, farming because it's an extremely important basic part of the game that they need to that if they need to pay attention to. Alright, we're gonna line up the uh Ragas top with Darius top. Mid Chogath. Uh, jungle jungle not mid mid and there we are. Perfect. And and they're off. It looks like we've got the This is meme this is meme squad. Meme Squad's is kind of sticking together as a team, so is um, Cell Swords. Oh, will this be like the same thing we kind of saw before? Where they it's going to be a, a, fu- a fun bush. Are there any grabs? I mean, there is Darius, but he hasn't positioned himself out. Oh, yeah. Um, he's trying to, trying to bait, it seems like, Bola Bear. Mm-hmm. Um, I will say that <laughs> NA Cell Swords is the first one we've casted so far that when they did an invasion, they didn't it didn't go terribly wrong? Oh no, it did not. That's true. Because um, yeah, we've, yeah, cause they spotted Kindred and that, they got worth out of it instead of it being turning into a team skirmish or someone going down. And it looks like it's not going to be an invasion. They're just going to play some wards and back off and go farm. So what is? So I think Darius is just checking for an invasion right now. Might just be hiding in the bushes. Um, Greg is just sitting up there like, uh, I don't really care. Um, Camping out, everything seems to be going normally. There's more vision um, grabbed by uh, by Ma- Meme Squad than Cell Swords thus far. Um, so I'm interested. Uh, they have good vision of the river, which is a key point. Mm-hmm. They want to make sure that they're not going to get uh, ganked. Mm-hmm. No early ganks for... Uh, for blue, for Echo. Hmm. Oh, there's Karma Poke. <laughs> Karma Pokes all day. LeBlanc yes. is trying to get uh, her pokes in, but that Cho'Goth has a oh. lot of HP. Yes, yes, he does. What did he build? He built a Doran's Rings first, and this, okay, all the various building. All right. 
Yeah. All right. Pretty so standard. we got a pe- we got a pendant and a mach- or a hatchet machete. What's that called? Hunter's machete. Hunter's machete. Typical jungle, jungle uh, builds. Oh, Karma Ooh, taking a Karma. lot of poke. That. Uh, She's kind of like Ari in that way, where she throws it, it goes back, does a lot, and then comes back and does a lot, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, Cho'Goth getting chucked out. It's actually interesting now. Um, on, they built on Sivir, where what that little... De- um, I think it's her W, the one that makes the little her auto have the one that bounces across. Yes, the, that, um, now they've made that so when she throws that, if the first one crits... It crits on every success, uh, every um, hit that every goes through after that. Yeah. Blow. Wow, that's Which really cool. Which is makes her a lot stronger if you build crit chance on her. So there's a like, there's a fight going on the river with Vola Baron Echo that just ended in a, a walk away. Yeah. They kind of uh, got a little noodle fight, a little little pitter pitter. A little slapping, slapping. <laughs> Chogas not giving in. No, he's not. He's he's dead. taking a lot of damage. Oh yes. And this is kind of what I was talking about with Karma, where she's going to be able to poke a lot in the beginning of the game and just be really obnoxious and maybe set up some kills for Lucian, but if, and that's what she needs to be doing here. She, she can also shield him with, and speak, get him to run away faster if she needs to, but... Good disengage. Oh, it's... It's got a lot of tools mm-hmm. that, uh, at his disposal. Hope they can use that to their advantage. To their advantage, yes. And it looks like Gragas is actually winning the fight up. When, oh, Volibears might be setting up for something, and Echo is following. I can't. It kind of looks like they're doing a little dance in the top. And it looks like Volibear is backing. Is backing now. Time to go get items. Yep. Uh, Darius is quite far ahead of Gragas in CS at the moment. Um, LeBlanc, the range champion. It, and uh, oh, Lucian oh, is... Oh, Echo setting up for a gank here. He's in the bush and waiting. It's a very patient Echo. It's not pushed very far. Oh, here oh, it comes. Here he comes. Oh, and he gets the... That's a the very stun. successful gank. And Let's he's going to go down out. here. Or, yep. Certainly. First blood goes to Gragas. Well, that's definitely going to help him, pr- propel him up to uh, items and catch up in CS. That was a big, big gank by Echo. Very well placed um, shot of... I t- baseball shot whatever that um yeah his slow and yeah his. he placed it like at a point where Darius had to flash to dodge it or he wasn't going to dodge it because he was a, he made it so that he made it to the edge of it but he didn't make it all like it was very well placed to get him no matter what oh here comes Bolivar. Bolivar's down bot they're gonna push them into the tower not a terribly successful gank it'll help their it'll uh, pad server cs a little bit but waste your time yeah, exactly. Volibear could be second in his own CS. Mm-hmm. And that's due to very, uh, good wards by um, Spell Swords. They had a good, they had a nice ward near Dragon that spotted Volibear. Mm-hmm. Who's still kind of meandering. Oh, I think he's getting scuttled. Echo with another successful gank going on here. Oh, Volibear's coming in to save the day. Counter gank. chases them off, but they're still, Echo's still kind of hanging around, kind of looking for something. Oh, where are we? So, Gragas has um, a, a sheen completed, which gives, whenever he casts an ability, his next, next basic attack does extra magic damage, which is going to help him a lot, because he, he will spam, well, when he uses his abilities to engage, that just, he just does more damage in fights and helps his exchange even better against that Darius. Oh yeah, with the with his dive, the the, the tackle or what have you, um, that'll he'll get into range, activate his sheen, pa- uh, proc his sheen, yeah, and get it going with again. His belly bump. <laughs> the belly bump. <laughs> I haven't seen... It's interesting to see Cho'Goth immediately has built oh, magic got resist. a flash on Karma. Karma flash. Ooh. We'll be back till 12 minutes. Slight gold lead for uh, blue team off the back of first blood, it seems. Yeah, this Darius is doing a very good job of just farming. Like, he's not... He's not doing overwhelming a lot in lane, but he's just farming and doing like doing what he has to to stay. Like if he can't, since he's not doing any.